People who fly these aircraft go through an extensive amount of safety training, but one helicopter pilot says nothing could have prepared him for this. I mean, I could see down the barrel of the gun. That's how close I was. A literal fight or flight situation Saturday in Tecama. And just literally flew out of there as fast as I could. Ed Gregory says someone fired at his helicopter in midair. You can see on the belly of the helicopter where the paint is chipped away. And also on the other side, there's metal that's dented in. Obviously, it looks like it was bird shot out of a shotgun. Gregory sprays crops for Nebraska Iowa helicopter and was heading to work on a field east of town Saturday, but didn't finish the trip. There's a home there and some trees on the south edge of the home, and I went to pull up over the trees. And as soon as I did, I heard a bang and felt a vibration in my feet. And at that point, I saw a man standing in his yard with a shotgun pointed at me. I was maybe 20, 30 feet from him at that time. And I went from being mad at myself to kind of fearing for my life at that point. The Burt County attorney believes that man was Von Trask. The 73 year old was booked for criminal mischief and an assault charge released from jail after he paid $7,500 bond. That doesn't sit well with Gregory or Trey O'Daniel, his employer. Really concerning to me because I've got you know, other helicopters out still working that day, you know, um, and uh, I don't want to see another one of my guys get shot at. Trask's attorney says he won't comment on the case until he reviews the sheriff's reports. Meanwhile, O'Daniel says his business is losing thousands of dollars a day. We've got a helicopter that we've got to get repaired, and we've, we've you know, the helicopter hasn't been doing any work these past, you know, since since the incident happened, and uh, it's a huge, huge hit to our business because we're actually we're falling behind because of it. But they agree. It all could have been much worse. Split second, it could have been a completely different story. Reporting in Tacoma, Cassie Nelson, KETV, Newswatch 7.